What you're looking at here is a side-by-side -side comparison of two photos that were exported using a background removal tool within their software, one of which was done with Adobe Photoshop, the other was done with Canva.com. Can you tell which one is which? Well, let's go ahead and investigate these two images first and let's call out what is right or wrong about them and then we'll determine which one actually won this battle. So if you look at the image here on the right, you could see that the lines and the cutouts are very smooth. You could even tell around the hair, it did a great job here around the uh, black shirt. It also did a great job. But the image here on the left, you can notice that the hair is a little bit rough in different spots. You can see that my face here and hairline is a little bit rough. It actually cut out parts of my tattoo, I guess thinking that was a part of the background. And you could even see here that it cut out a little bit of my shirt. So, which one won this battle? Obviously, it was the image on the right, and this was actually exported using Canva.com. Now, let's jump into both programs really quickly and take a look at the image that we actually use to cut out this background. So here in Photoshop, obviously, the way that we do this is we do the Select Subject Tool. And you can see the good selection here that Photoshop has actually done. Now, I could have went in and touched up these areas and made sure that it included these parts of me that it didn't do a very great job at. I can also do select and mask and make this mask a little bit better. So we could shift the edge, we could feather things out if we need to. So in this case, I'm just gonna shift the edge back up a little bit here just to include a little bit more of the hair. But you could see that the work that it's doing over here on the side is not the best. The hairline is still not the best. So the point being here is I'm looking to do something quickly and efficiently and photoshop's not really doing that very well now we could click on the refine hair tool and try to get in there and make that a little bit better but overall the amount of time it's taken me to actually go and fine tune these things is not very ideal however if we jump into the canva pro uh, subscription here all we do is hit this background or uh, remove background tool it's going to take just a moment or so to do that but you can see that this cutout is already so much better the part of my shirt that was cut out is still here. The tattoo is still here. The side of my face is not all kinds of messed up and the hairline looks very well. So it was kind of surprising to me to learn that, you know, Canva, a program that we as a lot of photographers and designers have looked kind of down upon over the years is slowly starting to get a lot better AI than that of Photoshop. Now, do I think that Photoshop is completely useless because uh, a Canva's background tool is better? No, I do not, because at the end of the day, Photoshop is a professional deep dive tool where you can fine tune things a lot better. But if you are trying to do things quickly and on the fly, especially if you're trying to make something like a thumbnail for YouTube, I think Canva is the overall better option because as soon as I'm done cutting this out, I can immediately find templates, go ahead and start making thumbnails or other types of graphics. So just wanted to put this little head to head battle out there. I thought this was kind of something fun for me. So I may do more of these comparing different features within Photoshop and Canva to see if you can get similar results for your photos. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you do want to try out Canva, there's a link in the description box below. And as always, be sure to create something new today.